Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. And there is a motorcycle. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So I know it has been so long since we have done a video, but I am coming to you today to bring you a little updated grooming video with none other than Stassi. Yes, so Stassi is getting ready to get her grooming done or her grooming on and I figured hey why not do a little video right because it's been forever so I don't know if this video is going to go up before or after the what's been happening video but um let's just roll with it so I have Stassi here in the RV with me and she is on the table on a mat that I have um that comes in so handy this is actually a microfiber bath mat so this I got off of Amazon. It's just like a regular kind of microfiber. So you can see it's just for a bath, bathtub or bath mat. Very, very simple. You can buy that on Amazon and let's get started. So I'm basically doing the same things that I always did with Stassi. Nothing much has changed in our grooming routine except for the place where we groom her. And um, right now, as you can see, we're in the RV. So the first thing that I'm going to do is use my little scissors, excuse my nails, I'm looking a little ratchet today, uh, but I'm waiting for my new nail dip to come in, which is 4th of July colors, and I didn't wanna do them and only have like fresh nails for one day and then have to redo it because that dip is coming in tomorrow. Anyway, so the first thing that we are going to do is snip away the rubber band, making sure I don't cut the rubber band of the bow, which I have done before by accident. It's not fun, especially when you pay as much as we do for bows, right? So you're, you're going to want to watch that you don't cut the hair or the bow or the band for the bow. So just pull it up, snip it away. And as you can see, she had her little 4th of July bow on, but we're gonna change that. I'll probably redo her hair before the fourth anyway. But I'm gonna show you how I am doing her hair these days, which is a little bit different, I guess, from the last video that I've done. So maybe that'll be a little bit of a change for you guys. All right, let me get this glass. I've got a lot of bands in here, and I'm gonna show you why in a second. So I don't know if you are following us on Instagram, but I know that I haven't posted a video here in forever, but if you would like to follow us on Instagram, you can follow um, me at simplyrocks2017, where you'll see lots and lots of the dogs and you'll keep very updated on what's been going on in our lives. Now I'm going to use the grooming pillow, which I have gotten tons of um, requests for like hey where do you buy the grooming pillow I cannot help you unfortunately the lady who um, made this grooming pillow which I think was called um, diva dog boutique is no longer in business I got it off of Amazon so my I'm not Amazon off of Etsy so my suggestion would be to um, maybe try and go to a dog show because I know that there are vendors there that do sell these little grooming pillows because this is very commonly used in breeds that have top knots, such as Shizus and Yorkies and Poodles. So I know that somebody makes them, I just couldn't really tell you like where to go get them. Luckily, I bought a couple of extra when I bought mine for Stassi and so, Hey guys, look at my girl. Um, so I have, you know, mine are still in good condition. Now I am using this comb right here. So this is the comb that I've been using and I actually just bought a new one. Um, I got this off of Amazon. It is called the Poodle brand and I really like it. It's just a butter comb. It has the different, you know, teeth on it. And um, I start off by, of course, wipe, um, brushing her little mustache down, whatever you want to call this area. She's been having some goopy eyes lately, so I'm going to show you what I've been doing. 
with her eyes. I don't know what is going on with her eyes. I don't know if it's the pollen in the air, maybe. Um, I don't really know. I apologize for this crazy angle because I know that you're not going to really be able to see as good as I would like you to see. But in the RV, I really don't have my setup like I did at home. So it is what it is. But thank you guys so much for like wanting Stasi videos and asking, you know, to see more of the dogs. And I hope to really try and do better with that and bring you some more content because I know I haven't uploaded any videos in a hot minute. And I really, you know, miss it a lot. Okay. So, she's got a little goopy in her eyes. All right. Okay. So, you want to make sure that you get everything all combed out before you start. Now, for those of you who don't know Stasi, Stasi is a Shizu, and she is now five years old. She just turned five in May. Can you believe that? I started doing videos with Stasi way back when she was a puppy, and met all of you wonderful people through this channel. And I really, really do miss you guys so much. Okay, as you can see, she's really really comfortable with being groomed because this is you know so natural to her because we've been doing it since she's a puppy so this is what I use on her eyes or in her eyes is peace and kindness colloidal silver spray and it is by Chris Christensen one of my favorites I do love all of Chris Christensen's um, combs and brushes and um, all of those products I still use all of them and um, I love this spray it is safe for them for you to put in the eyes and I just spray a couple of sprays in her eyes and this oh it is a burn baby I'm sorry I'm sorry she doesn't like that in her eyes who can blame her right I mean there we go all right Okay, so I just put a little bit of that in her eyes. I haven't been doing that, and I made a commitment to start doing it because I've been noticing this little goopiness happening, and I don't know if she's got, like, if it's just allergies or if she has a little infection, but that spray is good for all sorts of things, um, including if she would have any, like, uh, yeast or anything like that going on in her eyes. Okay, so once we get that eyes done, or those eyes done, whatever, I'm, okay, I'm going to try and do this from an angle. This is going to be a little bit difficult. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the comb, and I'm going to go right here towards the edge of the eye on both sides, and I'm going to pull up the first section. Now, your first section is not going to be very thick at all. So I'm going to say it's probably like maybe mm, a half an inch. Don't pull too much because if you pull too much, it's going to pull the top knot back on their head and you don't want that. So you only want a very thin section right here in the front. Okay, so turn her face so that you can see this is the section that we are going to be working with which is our first section now I am still using from the very first time that I bought bands these are the Ormco Penguin 560 bands and I don't know how they're not dry rot by now because they are five years old but I bought a big bunch of them off of eBay and um, they are still fine. And all it is is a 516th orthodontic band. So you could probably definitely get another brand, but they are just orthodontic bands. 
right, all right. So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap this around three times. And then I'm gonna loosen it just a little bit. And this is the first section. So you can see that's the first section. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to separate that hair so that this is behind her. And then I'm gonna take a little piece in the back and I'm gonna hold down the rubber band and I'm just going to pull this piece up. This is going to make this little poofy right here. So, pull it up, push your band down, and then we are gonna go on to the next section. The next section will be started at about the same spot and we're gonna pull up another section that's gonna be a little bit bigger than the first section, a little bit thicker. I'm gonna do that and make sure that none of the other hairs are included, so just this section here. And we're going to put another 5 16th band. Now for those of you who don't know me, I am not a groomer. I just have gotten my knowledge from doing Stassi's hair all the time. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do with this section is you're gonna do the opposite. You're gonna pull the first little piece in the front, so instead of in the back, and then you're gonna push down with this top, with this rubber band and pull this piece up. So basically, this piece is going to go a little bit forward when you do that, and that's what you want. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we are going to place her bow. So this is one of the doggy bow ties, um, awesome bows. I love this little rainbow bow, this little pastel rainbow bow. It has a double um, rubber band, so I put my fingers in both of these rubber bands and you're going to band just the top, just the front section. So you're gonna put those rubber bands just on the front section so that it will be like that, okay? The next thing you're going to do is then you are going to put the second section and the first section together and you're gonna band that section together. So you're just marrying the two sections together with two loops and then voila, they are together. Now, this is the problem that I have because this wants to just flop over in her face all of the time. So in order for me to kind of prevent that, what I have figured out is to do a third, whoa, you heard that? Okay, come on, it's okay. Somebody did a firework. Come on, it's all right, it's okay. Put your head over here. Okay, so what I did to combat that, and this is a little hard to do with her on this angle like this, but I do a third section. Now, the third section is gonna go back pretty far, and you have to kind of watch that you're not getting ear hair, which this is ear hair here, so I'm gonna take out some of this hair. Uh, we don't want ear hair in there. Oh my goodness, please, people. They are popping fireworks out there. That's all I need. Finally sit down to do the video and they're gonna pop fireworks and distract my dog. Oh my goodness, okay. All right, Stassi, let's see. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, so this section here, as you can see, is going to go all the way in the back of her skull. So all the way to the back is where this section is going to be. I have some ear hair there. Okay. I guess I'm even. I don't even know. I can't really tell from here. Okay, let's see. I think I'm even. So. You're gonna put this section, you're gonna grab this section all the way to the very back of where her neck is almost. So the bottom of her skull is where you're going to put this band. And then you are going to band this section with the rubber band. 
And then, lo and behold, we're gonna band all of this together. So now it's three sections that will be banded together and that is gonna hold the top knot back from flopping down into the face. Can I get a hallelujah, hallelujah? Because I know, you guys, if you were doing top knots, you have the same issue, right? I mean, we all have the same issue. Like, how do you get it from flopping over into their eyes? Well, do a third section. So that, see, it stays back there and it's nice and you know full up here it's not the traditional show top knot but she is not a show dog even though she could be a show dog um she is not a show dog so we just want her to look pretty and we want it to be functional to where she is not um you know having hair in her eyes all of the time now what you do have to watch for when you do a top knot like this is that it does pull on the eyes a lot because you're pulling that back section back all the way. So what you want to do, first of all, is I can see from this side that I have this piece of hair that needs to go down. Um, and I think that looks good there. So what you're going to do is you're going to use are dirty. This is the Chris Christensen rat tail comb, which is very, um, very, very useful. And you're going to want to hold, and I hold on to her right here. She's very, very used to it. Um, it doesn't bother her, and it stabilizes her head, and it makes um, things a whole lot easier. So what you want to do is you want to gently pull the sections out so that it loosens up the area of the top knot. And again, this is very difficult for me to do at this angle. Normally I would have her very like straight on with me because it's just a whole lot easier to do that way. I also kind of like hold my hand on this section right here, which makes it a little more comfortable for her. And you want to be gentle. Let me see stars. Oh, you're so beautiful. Okay. All right. Okay. So, there we go. The pretty girl. All right. And then the next thing that I am going to do is and I'm probably gonna work on this a little bit more after I get off the camera but I have to have her um, very squared off with me so that I can see what is pulling and what is not pulling but you can see she's pretty pretty <laughs> she's pretty pretty right now okay now the next thing I'm going to use is this wall uh, mustache trimmer you can get this from Amazon and I'm just gonna clean up her little um, area right here because I keep that shaved and it just keeps it a whole lot neater looking so Amazon the wall mustache trimmer all right it's kind of loud and you do have to get them used to it but she is very used to it as you can see she doesn't even really Flinch. She is such a good girl, and this is because we have been doing this for five years. <laughs> so, of course, you know, I mean, you have to work with your dog, and you can't do it every now and then. You have to do it all the time in order for them to get used to it and be as good as she is. All right. I think that looks pretty good. Right, it looks pretty good, Stassi. Pretty good. All right, and then the next thing that we are going to do, and I forgot my little powder. Hold on one second. Hey guys, all right, let me grab this. Okay, real quick, is I'm going to use the page one powder on her face. So I still use the page one. This is the Paw Marks, but I, this is just the container. This is also a very good powder by Paw Marks, Paw Marks, 
but I have been using the page one powder. And then what it is, I, I just like this container, I guess. And then you can just use a makeup brush. And then I just put it right there where her, her little eyes get wet. And if you keep this area dry, then you know that that reduces tear staining. And she really does not have any tear stains. Um, and even with her eyes being a little gooky right now, she is, you know, really good with that. So this keeps it really, really dry and, and perfect, really. All right, so that is it. So that is how easy it is and how quick it is for me to be able to do the top knot. And let's turn around, Stassi. All right, so that you can see everybody. You can see everybody? Say hi, everybody. So as you can see, her little eyes might be a little bit pulled, but that's okay, don't worry. I'm going to fix it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's it, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Um, look for more content coming from us very soon. I promise uh, there's a lot that I want to fill you guys in on if I have not uploaded that video yet that I am going to do um, soon. But as you can see, okay, well, maybe you can see her better as she was on here. Um, go ahead, lay down, baby Carol. As you can see, Stassi is doing well. She's just as sweet. She's just as good as ever. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And we will catch you on the next video, hopefully with a better angle. Bye, guys. Have a great day. Bye, Stas. Bye, Stas.